Hey y'all, it's your friend Dee, and in today's video, we're going to be making a clarinet. This is a clarinet that I made years ago, and I did not do the best job on this one. And it has also not held up very well over the years. I'm missing a few pieces on it. So I'm going to do a new version of this to go into the music store. To make our clarinet, I'm going to use two pieces of wire that are three quarters of an inch long and two pieces that are one and a quarter inch long. And I've already curled the ends of these like I did in the flute tutorial. And I'm also using a skewer from the Dollar Tree. And this is in the barbecue section. If you can't find these, you can just use a dowel rod. And you want your skewer to be four inches long. And I still have to trim off about a quarter of an inch off of mine. And I'm gonna take that from the pointed end because a clarinet does have somewhat of a point at the mouthpiece. And this will help me cut down on how much sanding I have to do if I leave a little bit of that point on there. I'm also gonna use this nail art tape from the Dollar Tree, and this is the metallic silver. And I'm using just plain cardstock, my glue gun, and some paint. I'm using my black paint and Mod Podge mixture and a silver paint pen from the Dollar Tree. I've cut a quarter inch off the tip of the skewer and I'm going to sand this down into the shape of a mouthpiece. So for the mouthpiece, I really only need to sand it on one side and I drew another mark that's about a quarter of an inch from the end and I don't wanna sand past that. So now I have it kind of at an uh, angle and that's pretty much a good representation of the mouthpiece. So I have the mouthpiece shape and I marked an inch from the end here. And that is where the bell of the clarinet is going to be placed. So I'm going to sit this aside and start working on the bell. To make the bell for the clarinet, I'm using cardstock and you can use a different paper, but I would suggest a sturdier paper for this. And I just drew a circle that had a three inch diameter. And within that circle, I drew another one that had a one inch diameter. Next, I divided this piece into three equal parts. So when you cut your pieces out, they should look like this. I'm going to take my cardstock and bend it into a cone shape. And I want this to fit pretty snug on the dowel rod. And I just need to make sure that the edges on the top and bottom are lining up as best I can. And I want to line up the top of the cone with that pencil mark that I made on the dowel rod. So now I'm just going to play around with it for a little bit and make sure I get this cone fitting snugly around the dowel rod and I'll glue this uh, end of the cone down. And the reason why I leave an inch of the dowel rod in the cone is it just helps with the stability of the clarinet uh, when we do the next step. So the seam of our cone, I wanna make sure that we don't see that in our pictures. So I want it on the back of the clarinet. And to figure out which side is the back, we just have to look at our mouthpiece and the side that we sand down at an angle, that is the front. So the other side is the back. So we just turn it around and now I'll glue that in place. So I glued down the seam and you can see it still moves. I just wanna make sure before I do anything else that I'm still on the back of the clarinet. So there's that sanded edge, which is the front and I'm on my pencil mark. So now I can do the next step. Now I'm just gonna fill in the cone with some hot glue. My hot glue is now dry and you can see the dowel rod or the skewer in the middle. And I did fill it up all the way to the edge. The next thing I'm going to do is just paint this entire thing with my black paint and Mod Podge mixture. You can just use black paint, that'll work just fine. <laughs> Thank you.
So my black paint is dry, but I made a little bit of a mistake. I had to go and sand off some of the paint on the back side. So this is the side that we didn't sand earlier. I need to leave a little bit of wood exposed to mimic a reed. So I'm going to clean this up with a little bit of my black paint. And I want to leave about a quarter of an inch exposed. So now we have a little reed on the back. And you can absolutely skip this part since it is on the back side of it. But me being a clarinet player, I felt like I needed it. Next, we're going to use the nail art tape to make the different joints of the clarinet. There's five areas where we need to add the silver tape. And my camera really isn't picking up my pencil marks. So using the ruler, I'm going to show you where to add the tape from left to right. The first one is going to be at a quarter of an inch, then a half inch. The third one is at an inch and a half. And the fourth and fifth, you don't really have to measure. So the fourth one is going to be right where we connected the bell to the rod. And the fifth one is right at the edge so just take the silver tape and wrap it around and it should look like this and i'm going to do the other points i have the silver tape in place and now i'm going to put on the keys and on my old clarinet i used some beads for the keys like i did on the flute if you haven't seen the flute tutorial please go check it out but for the new clarinet, I think I'm just going to use hot glue. So in the two larger sections, we're going to have three keys here and three keys here. And I tried to mark it off with pencil, but I'm just going to eyeball it. They're going to be about a quarter of an inch apart. Remember to put your keys on the front side of the clarinet. The side that we sand the mouthpiece at an angle, that's the front and the side that we left the little wooden reed on, that's going to be the back side. I'm going to use a small bead of glue for each key. I'll let this cool off just a little bit, and then I'll press it down with my finger, and I have on my little finger protector. So here's what it looks like. And now I'm going to do the other keys. So I'll have two more here and three here. All of my main keys are in place. And here's what it looks like from the side. And I'm going to paint these with my silver paint pen from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to go over each one like this. So I have all of those painted and I'm going to set this aside and let it dry. Now we can work on the other keys. I'm going to take those two wires that we curled at the end and I'm going to do the same thing that we did in the flute tutorial. I'm going to add just a small dab of glue in the middle of this circle here and let that dry. After it dries, just paint it with the paint pen. My silver paint has dried, and now I can put on my wire pieces. And you want to make sure that your mouthpiece is facing to the left and your bell is facing to the right. So now I'm going to turn my clarinet on its side where the keys are facing away from me. And I'm going to take my two straight wire pieces and those are going to sit right on the side of my clarinet like this. So this would mimic the rod system of a clarinet. So I have those two wires glued in place, and I'm not worried about the hot glue. I'll clean that up a little bit later. So now we can put on these pieces, and this first one is going to go right beside this wire. And we'll glue that in place and it should curl a little bit over. So I have that key glued into place. And if you're wondering why I just didn't do one piece of wire here, the straight wire is to mimic the rod system that connects to these keys here. And the other one 
is a completely different set of keys and there's actually several of them but I'm only going to do one just to save some space. So our last wire piece is going to go on the other side of the clarinet. So on this lower part here. And it's going to face towards the other keys. So that one is glued into place. And just like all the other ones, we'll clean up that glue later. Now I need to connect the main keys to the rod system. So I'll take my hot glue gun and run a line of glue from the key to the rod. And after it dries, I'll go back and snip off the little tails. But I'll do this on all of these keys. And I probably should have waited to do the silver paint until after I did this part because now I need to go back and paint these. Now we need to just add our open holes onto these main keys. So I'm going to take this little tool from the Dollar Tree. I'm using the smaller end. I'm going to dip that into some black paint. And each one of these main keys are just going to get a dot of black paint in the center because a clarinet does have open holes on the main keys. Since the flute didn't work out, let's see how you do on the clarinet. I just don't see myself playing the clarinet. I think I was finally getting the hang of the flute. No, you weren't. And I don't expect you to be a virtuoso on your first day. I don't think this is the instrument for me. Sounds awful. I finished the clarinet and I made three to go into the music store. Here's a close up. And I think this one looks so much better than the one I made years ago. I did clean up the hot glue some. I went over the really rough spots with some black paint to help blend it into the rest of the clarinet. Overall, I'm happy with the job I did on these. I did not include a thumb rest on the back. I don't think the dolls will be able to use it anyway. So I'm just going to use some poster putty to help the dolls hold it. So my friends, that's all I have for you today. If you have questions about anything in this video, please leave it in the comments below. I will try my best to answer your questions. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. I'll see you next time, my friends. Bye-bye.